So there's the disappointment of the final and then you go back and you're expecting to go back to the warm bosom of Saracens, this all-conquering yeah, yeah. side, dominating Europe, dominating the Premiership and you walk straight into one of the biggest scandals in probably English sport in recent times with what happened with the wage cap and five and a half million pound fine, 35 point deduction. As players, what's been the reaction? Get on with it. Simple as that? It, oh yeah, simple as that. We, we're... But does it, does it take away, do you feel, from what you've achieved? You'll obviously always have the moments of the days, but Again, looking further down the track, when we're talking in 20 years about Saracens, do you think as players the conversation has now changed from the all-conquering dominant team of their era to a team that cheated? Uh, I, I personally don't think so. Um, I think if you look at it and pick it apart, um, you know, in terms of how, how we got there, uh, in terms of creating a load of players you know, from, from academy level and bringing them through, um, you know, I, I think there's there's a, there's, a, there's a great argument against that. Would you accept as an asterisk around everything that's happened? I, 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 look, I can see people's points of views. I'm not going to deny that. I, I can see mm. people's point of views, but it's something that, uh, for me, I'm, I'm very I'm comfortable within the situation. Is there any sense of annoyance among the players that this was going behind? I'm, I'm, I don't think anyone's overly aware of how much certain players knew of what was going on, but... Like you've been dragged into the middle of an almighty shitstorm here mm. that is probably going to linger for years and years. And like it'd be interesting when you go back in with England, what the dynamic now is between the Saracens players and players from other clubs, some of whom have been very vocal, I think, as to like there's the there's the glory and there's that. But like as was pointed out, like people lose their jobs in professional sport because teams are relegated because results go certain ways. And the sense is that like, like as you're clearly aware, that Saracens cheated and caused that. So that must have some sort of an effect. Look, it, 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 is, it is what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm aware that everyone's got different opinions on it. Um, from being inside the camp, I've got, obviously got a, a difference of opinion mm. than probably a lot of other people. Um, there are other players who, from other clubs who are, who are you know, standing up and saying that you know, they're, they're trying to do, they, were, they have been trying to do things the right way. So everyone's got different opinions, and, yeah. and that's, that's my view on it. You were, were you one of the players who had the other deal? Uh, I, I wasn't, but this is this, these are the ins and outs I'd probably mm. draw a line up. Yeah. It's obviously means you're coming back to a totally different situation whereby, again, you would, would start the season strong favourites for Champions Cup, strong favourites for the Premiership, and it looks as though actually you're going to end up progressing through the Champions Cup, a huge game coming up this weekend. Like For where you are in your career and all you want to achieve, like, Suddenly, do you feel in a very different position, like you're fighting for survival? Like that's not what what you're used to with Saracens. It's something different. One hundred percent, it's something different. But um, there's there's not to say that there's not a challenge in that. And um, I think there's been an unbelievable buy-in from from everyone within the group on that on that case. You're very good to come in and talk about it. Firstly, and it's a difficult position for a player. You've left. You were part of it, and you're probably more aware of maybe what everyone is saying on on the outside, Dominic. Like this is an almighty scandal that is going to just linger, you feel, for English rugby for years to come. <clears throat> yeah, look, uh, I personally think that there needs to be uh, needs to be clarity throughout the whole league. So I, think, I don't think everyone can just, just point a finger at Saracens. I think every single club needs to be audited, looked at. Well, surely that's been happening, that if other clubs, if there were questions about other clubs, that would be investigated. Like, it's a bit rich to suddenly start pointing the fingers elsewhere when Saracens have been deemed to have been found guilty. <laughs> no, yeah. like, Look, I'm, it, I'm not pointing... I, don't, I, don't I know they did decided not to appeal. Like, it does feel as though just somebody come out and put their hands up and go, you know what? We did wrong. We apologise. We can't undo what happened in the past. But I mean, the attitude that seems to be there is we have a different point of view on it. Like, there, is, there is no two points of view in this. Like, the decision was made that they broke the salary cap, which is cheating. Yeah, but we don't know... Yeah, OK, that's fine. I accept that. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think we know everything that went on in that mm. meeting, um, in 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 that whole hearing. So, it's such a, it's such a difficult uh, topic to comment on. We can give our opinion, which which George has has done, I think, and and I'm sure there'll be more things that come to light, yeah. and, and we just gotta just we just gotta feed our way through the situation. I think. 
what was that conversation like at the start of the season then where you're trying to figure out what the priorities are because everyone wondered what would happen with Europe as mm. to like staying at the Premiership is obviously the main focus you're starting with a big points deduction with slowly but surely yeah. you're starting to claw back yet you go into this final game now harassing knowing a victory will be enough to get you through to the knockout stage uh, was Europe seen as a bonus this season if you can somehow scrape through brilliant but if not we know where the priority is um, I think it's been our coach has publicly said that we would focus on the Premiership mm. um, We've played 42 players in the in Europe so far this year, so it's um, you know it's, it's been it's been great for the, the youngsters and, and great for um, their development. Um, but yeah, now we've got an opportunity to to focus on Europe again, so you know that may well be our focus as well. Yeah, obviously this weekend is huge mm. for your personal situation. Then, like the expectation seems to be that players will leave. You've been strongly linked with a move to Japan. Like, is that something that's definitely of interest to you? You've two uh, year, you've what eighteen months on your contract? Yeah, around that. I, I've, uh, I like I said, I do like Japan and, and I like uh, the idea of an experience. It would just be a question of when, really. Yeah, would it be frustrating that you end up having to leave? Like you've been at Saracens pretty much your whole life. That you end up having to leave a year early. Uh, anything would be done um, on, you know, on on both of our terms. Mm. So it's something I've been very open with for years, um, and something that you know. If it happens, it happens. If not, it doesn't.